So the hypothesis there, our thought process is that um, the cancer cells are going to need choline to divide and grow, and so if we could somehow identify those cells that were using a lot of choline, um, we would be able to identify where possible sites of prostate cancer are. So that's kind of you know what the drug, is, what what choline is, and, and what um, what the mechanism for its um, utilization by prostate cancer is. We talk about uh, sometimes a, uh, the, the survival of this agent in terms of a half-life, and the half-life of the choline, a point at which we have half as much as we started with, is about 20 minutes. So um, within a couple of hours, what we've constructed um, has all decayed, and we no longer can detect it. So we need to use it very quickly. So sometimes when you look at these images, you'll see the body outline, and yeah, you'll see a couple of normal things, but even uh, deep within the image, you can see a, a beacon lighting up showing us where the cancer is. Even on a single image of the whole body, you can often see the areas where the cancer is. And, and it, you're essentially looking through all of the other normal structures in the body going right to where the cancer is and um, not being misled or confused by other, the other, all of the other normal structures that are in the image. FDG, our glucose radiotracer, is active in many different kinds of cancers, but Prostate is one that it's not active in. Then there are a number of others. Uh, Low-grade brain cancers are not active with the FDG molecule. Um, and uh, renal cell cancer, uh, some liver cancers. So we have a number of other uh, cancers that we'd like to um, uh, attempt to identify using the C11 choline. And uh, uh, that's ongoing work that we have right now. And so we'll, we're going to be very interested to see how that turns out.